Good day, I'm Chris Guigan, President of Engineered Marketing Solutions. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, in this brief video, you'll learn about uh, what I've discovered are the three circles of wealth. And every business um, has these three circles. In my 20 plus years of working with over hundreds of businesses in 31 different industries, um, I've discovered that not only does every business have these, but the ones that focus on these ones, it brings them great success. The ones that don't, the company flounders and they spiral downwards. So if you've been frustrated with the results that, that, that you're getting, you know, um, maybe you're, or maybe you're brand new to uh, internet marketing and you, you want to uh, you know some shortcuts and you want to avoid losing thousands of dollars and months of wasted time, or if you're just, if you've been on for a while and you're getting pretty decent results, um, you're going to get excited about uh, what I have for you because uh, I, I'm going I'm to give you a look into uh, deeper into the real secret to uh, internet marketing. Now I've just dissected this, I call myself the marketing engineer. Um, why? Well, because I spent the first part of my career as an engineer. I was an engineer for Ford Motor Company, then went on and I designed uh, um, parts in space station programs, just a number of different things. I won't bore you with that right now, but I've got the engineering mindset about how to, um, how to pick things apart and develop uh, robust, robust processes that will deliver you repeatable results um, time and time again. So let's get right into the three circles of wealth. Um, the first circle is traffic. The second circle is conversion. And the third circle is profitability. All right, hopefully I spelled that right. Okay, so traffic, conversion, and profitability. Now, most businesses, what they do is they just focus purely on traffic. You know, so we've got to get on the first page of Google, we get to the top of Google, we got to like just fill all the spots in Google. Well, it's good to have all those things, but what happens if you start off with the wrong keywords? And this is so easy to do because in your business, in your industry, whether you use um, long tail or short tail keywords, there's several hundred variations of the keyword that, that you can use. And you can only optimize a few at a time. Uh, and you should only um, optimize a few at a time. In fact, in every business, there's probably there's about um, a handful of maybe like you know, five, six, you know, real core key, keywords that you need to know for your business. So you can't just jump on anything or you'll flounder. Um, conversion. If you're not having the right process in place to convert people, um, you're, you're gonna you're gonna flounder. A lot of people know about landing pages. I'm not talking about your average everyday landing page. I'm talking about having a proper conversion strategy mapped out um, uh, for um, the right people. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. Most businesses, if they're not focusing on this, um, they're probably losing anywhere from a, a third to 50, 100, even up to 200 percent of the money that they could be making. They're leaving it on the table. And obviously, profitability. I don't have to say much more about that. Here's a real secret though. There's two types of people that you gotta market to. You gotta know these and you gotta market to them. Most people cast a broad net. You do that, you, you're gonna get creamed. Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna focus on two types of people. The first person is your 80-20 person. Pareto principle. 80% of your profits will come from 20% of your clients. 80% of your profits will come from 20% of your clients. So who should you focus on? Everybody or just the ones that are bringing you the most profits? The ones that are bringing you the most profits, right? The others, well, they'll get attracted that to you more. The second type of, of, of person, even more vital than this, and you'll see why this is really exciting, is what I call the 55. So we take this Pareto principle one level deeper. If we say that 80% of those profits will come from 20% of those clients, when you do the math, it doesn't work out quite this way, but for this, um, what we use around in math, so we'll say that 50% of your profits will come from 5% of your clients. Let me repeat that. 50% of your profits will come from 5% of your clients. Think about this in your business. Who are the people that bring you the most sales and most profits in your business right now? You're going to be thinking, gosh, the Johnson account, Bob and Mary Smith. There's going to be three or four names or, or more floating in your mind, but you're going to know them right away. Why? Because these are the ones that you love to work with. You're making the most money off of them. Even more than that, brings you the most joy. These are the ones that like, there's a mutual respect. They've probably grown and become uh, good friends of yours um, over the years as well. You have a higher profit margin off them. They don't mind paying for that because they appreciate the value in, in you. So instead of marketing to everybody, picture your business. If these are the only type of people that, that you are attracting, how good would that be? Well, the good news is, is that you can. Most people don't know how to do this. Um, Malcolm Gladwell in his book, uh, Outliers, said that in order to be an expert in any one area, um, you've got to have 10,000 hours in that one area. That's where a lot of people like um, come up short. They don't have 10,000 hours in human behavior. Um, you know, it's pretty hard to get 10,000 hours in, in generating traffic. That's, that's pretty tough to do. But in this area, if, 
Um, it's very hard to accumulate 10,000 hours. Um, I've accumulated over 10,000 hours in human behavior, sales, marketing, and advertising, and also in, uh, in engineering as well. So um, anyhow, look, look, looking at, at the uh, conversion system, um, most people understand a funnel analogy where, where you have to send traffic in and then that, that's, that's going to convert and then um, you'll come out and you'll, you'll profit from that. that. That's nothing new. I understand that. So here, here's the thing though. When you're focusing on these people and you're sending these people in, these people have got huge BS detectors. There's certain ways you have to approach them to bring you great success and there's certain things that if you don't do, you'll flounder and, and you'll lose them. So, um, so having a right engineer that conversion process, you know, so you're bringing the right, um, the right traffic and you're converting them in the right way. So then uh, not, not only are you making a sale, but even more important, you're developing a good customer and then you flip the funnel on them. And this is where you profit, long-term profits uh, come into play, where you develop other things or have other programs or systems in place that you can sell to these people. But this all ha has to be coordinated and orchestrated and engineered the right way in order to have maximum results on this. So um, I bet you that in your business, you're, you're probably um, missing some of these areas. Not because um, uh, you can't find them, but because you're too busy being successful to have the time or the energy to look for this. The other reason is, is most people don't know about this and they probably have, you've probably never learned about this before, which is not your fault at all. There's a great lacking in the expertise that, that exists out there. Uh, for this. That's why so many people like uh, flounder on, on the internet. So um, that, uh, hopefully this was, uh, this was enlightening for you. I, I've got that in order to help you out um, even more. I've got uh, some more videos. I have three more videos for you. That's going to go into more detail in these things. Give you a much better understanding. So you'll then be able to pick which traffic sources are best for your business. For instance, right now, what is your number one converting keyword? If you can't answer that, you're leaving money on the table. What is your conversion process? And, and, and what are your numbers at all the different steps in there? If you can't answer that, you're leaving money on the table. Who, who are your 55 people and who are your 80, 20 people? Boom, if you can't answer that, you're missing out on, on massive amounts of profit. So most businesses I come across are leaving anywhere from uh, 25 uh, to 50, 100, 200 50, um, or more percent profits they're leaving on the table from not focusing on these things. In fact, most businesses I work with within their first three months, they can pick up anywhere from 15 to 35% uh, additional profits that's already right there in their business right now. They're just not seeing. So, you know, to access uh, the, these videos, um, all you need to do is enter your information. There's a form underneath me. Uh, go ahead, enter your information in there, and I'll be waiting for you on the next page. Oh, um, one last thing. There's a, there's a box here. If you're having challenges in your business right now that you want help with and want answered, just check that box off, and we'll uh, get, schedule a free 15-minute consultation for you. There's no obligation. I'll send you some paperwork ahead of time just to help, you, help me understand your situation. So we have 15 minutes purely focused on, on your business. One client uh, did this and uh, 15 minutes uncovered one thing that put 6,000 bucks in his pocket. Not bad. So uh, go ahead, enter your information and I'll, I'll uh, be waiting for you on the other side. All right, eight, make it a great day. Bye-bye.